Good morning, everyone. Sharon Danley here. And it looks like once again, I have some tech troubles. So I need to know if anybody is watching and if you can hear me okay. I don't see anybody at the moment. I'm having tech troubles. So I may have to stop this and start it again. But I wanted to keep going to see if in fact, it's being recorded. Am I seeing anybody? Uh, let me see. It doesn't show me that I've got anybody. Okay, I see one. Now, if you could please give me a thumbs up or something to let me know that you're seeing and hearing this okay, that would be fantastic. Hopefully, uh, it, will, it, it will all work out and I won't have to... Um, you know, start all over again. So I'm going to uh, continue on and hopefully uh, when I get a thumbs up or two to know that everything is okay, then I will launch right into some of what the updates are. And I'm very sorry for this, but you know, when you're off for a little while, hi Linda, okay, that's great, thank you so much. When you're off for a little while, it's uh, it's amazing how fast technology just whew, goes, goes right ahead and you're left behind real fast. So, um, you know, as far as an update is concerned, that's what we'll talk about right now. Um, I was scheduled to have some knee surgery, as some of you may remember. Well, I got a lung infection, and I had to make an executive decision and cancel it. So that's why I'm, uh, you know, I'm sort of in the position. You can hear, still hear a little bit of raspiness in my throat. So, so that was, you know, that was what held me back from a number of things. While I was recuperating, uh, I decided that uh, I would... Um, I, because my throat was quite sore and I couldn't talk very like not well enough to record or anything like that. So I um, I started knitting <laughs> and, and uh, it was something that I've done for some time. So now I have something here to show you. Uh, let me see. Oh, not that one. Hmm. I had a little something to show you ladies on, on what I was doing. Ah, here it is. Here's the knitting I've been doing. And I have another channel, just Sharon Downey. It's my family channel, but it's listed under Anne Lombard. Goes back years and years and years. So I knitted these little bunnies and I made some Yodas and stuff. And so many people like them that they asked me if I would make a video of it. So I've made a video of it and I'll put the link to it in the description box below if you're interested. So I, that's just to let you know what I've been doing while I, while I couldn't, you know, yap. So um, uh, I've also had some technical difficulties with one of my programs. And so that has set me back a little bit. Uh, and in the last week I've developed uh, some eczema, uh, you know, some facial eczema, which is, uh, oh, you know, you can imagine, eh? For those that suffer eczema, I, I don't really get every now and again in the spring, I get it somewhere on my body. But this is a great, like this is all, it's all red here. This is a great example to show you how the dual powder, the dual finish powder, or the, 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 the powder foundation that's sold by Mac or Dur Burrell, how it covers really well. It won't change texture, of course, but it will cover so that you get an even skin tone, which in my books is far more important. Um, and I understand that uh, eczema can is often coupled with those who suffer uh, asthma or seasonal asthma, you know, as I do. So that's kind of where things have been. Now, step it up to the last, you know, week or four or month, I have been diligently gathering and preparing for the coronavirus. Uh, and I, I started way back in, in January, you know, getting uh, what I needed. I stocked up on groceries and alcohol and, and toilet paper, like apparently we're running out of it here in Canada. Uh, so I've been preparing for that because, uh, you know, it, it is a serious issue. And, um, and I've been researching and doing a lot of stuff, listening to all sides from, from, from every sector, 
you know, to try to figure out what is the best. So that's what I've been doing. I haven't forgotten about I'm the boss of me or anything else. It's just that I have really had to take care of myself. And my son has developed a problem. He, ha he was born with congenital heart uh, problems and a number of other things. Uh, you know, he's, his, his, uh, his life has always been very precarious. So there's that emotional stuff in the background too. So that's just to give you an update of why I've been MIA, but I'm, I'm trying to come back, you know, um, and, and, um, keep going with, with what we're doing, uh, and I, I will get back to the boss of me. Uh, I'm just really concerned with the way things are right now with the coronavirus and safety. Uh, just keep being smart, um, you know, that sort of thing. But we do live in an age, fortunately, where we can communicate just like we're doing now. Uh, sort of. It's not quite the same, but on Facebook now they have uh, video chats and on Skype so you can visit with your fa your, your, your fans, <laughs> your friends and your family that way. So, uh, you know, um, I'd just like to encourage you to follow the, 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 um, the, the steps, the, the healthy hygiene, universal hygiene, uh, keeping away from people. And if you are near them, stay, you know, at least a meter away. Rubbing alcohol, 70% alcohol is your friend. Wiping things down, keeping your surfaces clean. Uh, put the lid down on the toilet before it's flushed. All those sorts of things are important. So that's, you know, I'm combining a public service announcement along with this. Now, on the... Um, that's so, so, so that's what was on the health front. Now, on the political front, Canada has... Uh, we have a real problem here in Canada. Um... Oh, on so many fronts, uh, but I put up stuff about that on my advocacy channel on YouTube. So it's youtube.com forward slash Sharon Danley advocacy. Uh, we have real problems here and we've, we've, we've got, we've got to try to, to solve them. So that's what I have been doing. And I just wanted to, 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 to bring you up to date on that. So now, uh, let me just see. I think I'm going to switch over to, I have a couple of beauty tips for you. So let me just uh, switch over to those. Now, the first beauty tip is, using, for, for those who have darkish brows or you're using maybe a color with a little bit of a heavy hand, Pencils I do not recommend, but if you're using eyeshadow, it's really truly the best because with a nice flat angled brush, you can get really good precision brows with that. If you find that your, your hand is too heavy, the weight of your hand is too heavy, like I'm wearing print right now. I always wear print by MAC eyeshadow. Now, if I wanted to put that, or if, let's suppose I was just, you know, putting it on a little too heavy, I could very easily dip my sponge into the dual finish powder and just stipple on over top to tone it down. It really tones it down beautifully. Or if you have one brow that may be a little bit darker than the other because maybe it has more hair in it than the other brow does, and this happens to a lot of people, then putting the dual powder on the one brow that's darker will tone it down and make it give it the look, even it out with the brow beside it. Okay, so that's the first tip. And the second tip, in doing makeovers, ladies, which I've been doing for a long, long time, one of the things I notice is that around the eyes with our foundation, our dual finish powder foundation, people or women often don't put enough on. Now, here's a tip that to have you thinking in a different direction. When you have a clean, clean canvas, which is what your face is, then you add color to it. That color is going to stand out more. If you have, if you, if your eyes are still kind of dark, and you, you, you and they're dark in around the, the 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 corners here. This is where most of us get quite dark. If they're still dark and you haven't got enough foundation in there, there's a tendency to want to put on more eye makeup so that it's the eyes stand out a little bit more away from the face. Does that make sense? So if you've got a if you've got a if you've got 
a kind of a dark canvas, you're going to have to add extra in order for that to stand out. Whereas if you simply make sure that your eyes are covered well with foundation beforehand, then you'll need less. Okay. Um, that's, that's, that's the two tips that I have with respect to, uh, to, to make up for you for today. But of course you can ask your questions. So, and that's what we're going to jump to right now. So I just want to say hi to everyone. Uh, and I'm going to bring up, uh, any uh, questions that we may have. And Mimi's, uh, 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 I'm not sure it, what Mimi's question is here. And I've set this up a little bit differently. Hopefully it will work. Uh, type of personality. Sorry, I'm not sure what that means, Mimi, but that's that's okay. Uh, and she said, when it rains, it pours. Uh, yeah, it sure does, doesn't it? I have to tell you, like yesterday was Friday the 13th, right? And I I forgot I had forgotten that Friday the 13th for me is always a lucky day and I think it's just because I decided it was going to be a long time ago. Anyway, the day was fine um and uh you know it it, it went okay but I had decided that I think this is the time that I'm going to it's okay to come back now and um so I I you know, planned out, I put the program together, I did all the visuals, that sort of thing, because it takes a lot of visuals for, 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 you know, to do this kind of thing. Anyway, um, then things started going wrong this morning. Oh, I can't tell you the amount of technical difficulty. Uh, I, I, uh, I, a brush that I use to um, dip in the liquid uh, lipstick to put on, couldn't find it. A whole bunch of little things were going wrong. So anyway, yeah, Mimi, when it rains, it pours. Uh, and Teresa McDonald says, you look fabulous. Well, thank you very much. It's all smoke and mirrors and good makeup, right? Um, and let me see. Uh, and Wilma, hello from the Netherlands. Hello, Wilma. And we have, um, let me see. Who else? Um, and oh, Linda says, uh, missed you. Ah, oh, thank you so much. That's very kind. And um, Deborah Ward, okay. Uh, what is what is the foundation did you say you use? Okay, I'm so glad to see you back. Thank you, Deborah. I use the dual finish powder uh, by Burrell. And I've got it all linked in, oh, I see, I'm reversed here, so my, my, I'm seeing the reversed image of myself. I've listed everything for you in the, um, what do you call it, in the description box below, just right underneath this video where it says show more. If you click on that, a, a whole thing will drop down, and I've listed all kinds of links for you to find this stuff. Yeah, dual finish powder foundation. It's called, and Matt calls theirs foundation with powder. Burrell calls it dual finish. Doesn't matter. What it is, is just, it's, it's a powder foundation. That's all I use, and that's all I am uh, interested in, because I haven't seen anything that's come along uh, that, that looks better. And Cheryl says, good morning. Thank you, Cheryl. And you're hearing me too. Excellent. And Candace says, finally found you. Oh, great, Candace. And make sure, ladies, those of you who aren't subscribed to the channel, please do so because algorithms. And because I'm not monetized, I don't receive any benefit. I don't allow advertising on my page. I do this with the idea that if you've gained some benefit, you'll pay it forward in my daughter, Andrea Main's name, and do something for somebody else with your own time or your talent or your treasure. Help somebody else in your postage stamp of the world that, that needs help. I think we need to concentrate on giving more and grabbing less. So that's the reason for this. So you have to make sure that you subscribe. And you know the little bell beside it? If you click on that, three options come up. Click on the top one that says all notifications. Okay. And uh, Susan Price, good afternoon from the UK. Good afternoon, Susan. Glad that you're here. Um, 
And Cheryl says, I knitted my son's christening dress. It took nine months. Oh my gosh. I can just imagine. I can just imagine. I'll bet it was gorgeous. Okay. And we have Waterland 4. I have so much red in my cheeks from old sunburn scars. When I use foundation, all my little hairs show. What can I use to truly cover the red and won't look like I'm wearing a mask? Waterland 4 shave. Seriously, shave off the peach fuzz. It doesn't grow back faster. It doesn't grow back thicker. It doesn't, you know, any of that stuff that we've heard before, it doesn't. There's all kinds of razors, like little straight razors that you can use for that. I think I've got a video on that very thing, but absolutely shave your face. Lots of us have to because uh, that's something that happens when we age, hair grows where we don't want it and it doesn't grow where we do want it. It's just a fact of aging. So accept it and then do what you can about it. And I guarantee you, you shave your face, you're gonna find a big difference with your makeup. And I highly recommend using a dual finish powder, no liquids. Okay, I hope that helps, Cheryl. And uh, Moni, uh, Varadi, hello from Mississippi. Hi there. Hope you're keeping well. And Judy, it's so nice to see you this morning. Well, thank you, Judy. That's very kind of you. I love your little uh, your little um, profile, cartoon profile. It's great. Um, and Deborah says, what can you do for heavy bags under the eyes? Hi from Missouri. Well, Deborah, I have bags under my eyes. Here's the thing, if they are bulbous, like if they, if they stick out, then you don't want to highlight those. You want to make them just the same color as your, as your foundation, because if you highlight them, you're going to make, bring them forward more. And what you can do is use a highlight or like a shade, two shades lighter than your foundation and go around the crevice. Okay, put that in there, but not on the thing. Now, if you're if you're just dark, stipple on an extra layer, and and depending if they're not if they don't stick out, then you could put on uh, a, a two shades lighter uh, foundation. So you put your main foundation on first, your main color, and then your highlight color uh, over top of that. Okay, so I I hope that that answers your question. Okay. And, um, and Laura C says, shaving is great. Yes, it is, Laura. Thank you for that confirmation. And Cheryl Hills, hello from Bonnie, Scotland. Ah, Cheryl, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, I'm a, a Scottish lass myself, uh, way, way, way back when. In fact, uh, Sean Connery is in our family tree. Big forehead, right? <laughs> and, um, Waterland 4, thank you so much for answering my question. Oh, you're so welcome. That's what we're here for. And uh, Linda Gaber, hi. A little late, but here. Good to see you again. Thank you, Linda. Good to see you, too. Um, oh, there doesn't seem to be any more questions. Uh, let me see if I can come up with some things, some little tips that maybe some of us have forgotten. Uh, ah, when you wear the... Uh, Lip Color by Maybelline 24 Hours Superstay. I really like the liquid, of course. Now they sell it in a crayon, which doesn't wear very well. They also sell it in, in it's called matte ink. It's more of a matte color. It, it's, it's good too, but it doesn't stay out as well. This is, this is what it looks like, okay? For most of us who have to correct our lip shape. Like I have to add, I have to bring this part of my lip down a fair bit. And I have to lengthen this one because it doesn't match the other side. We all have little things. What I do is, is I, I scrape off the excess and I use, I use the darker color first, no shimmer in it whatsoever. You should always wear a couple of different shades, ladies, because you're going to get, you're going to get some 3D out of it. You're going to get some really good uh, shaping 
and coloring for your lips. If you just use one color, it has a tendency to be very flat. So if you want a 3D, you've got to use a couple. I sometimes use uh, three, not sometimes, actually, mostly, always. This one is, just, just as an example, um, let me see. I use this one first, which is 05, I think that's wine. And I, I put that around, you know, the outside. Then I take a tissue and I blot. I've been doing that more and more lately. I blot it, you know, the old fashioned way. So it helps to dry and every, at, at much quicker and then you can apply your second coat. This is a perpetual plum number 55. And I, notice I label all my, mine afterwards because I, I can't see what they are. When I take it out of the box, because it says what it is on the box, and then I put a little sticky thing on, you know, so that I can see it in my makeup bag. Then I put my second, and I cover everything except the center, just in the center here. I cover everything with the second shade. And then I, together class, blot. And then what I do is I add the highlight, the third shade. And I, I let that sit for a second, and then uh, when it's dry, then I uh, put the balm on. Now, I have, uh, if you're having a little bit of trouble with the doe foot, this is, this is the doe foot um, that it, it comes with. That's called a doe foot. See how it's angled on one side? I have no trouble with it, except some days when I'm a little off and I have to add a little bit more, I use a very small, very tiny angled brush, uh, like a, a little detailed brush that you can get in an artist shop. And, and then I, you know, I, I lengthen or do whatever I need to do. Uh, and, and I just take the brush, dip it on the wand, pick up some of the product and put it on. So when you do that, then you, then you, what you end up with is a 3D lip. OK, and 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 that's what mostly you need to. Now, we're coming into the spring, ladies, and I'm, I, I, I know that women love uh, a, a lovely pink. Pink is great, except that too often it's too blue. And at this stage of the game, wearing a lip color that's too blue and too bright is not our best look. I really like this perpetual plum by Maybelline 24 Hour Superstay. Why? Because it's a warm pink. That means it doesn't have a lot of blue in it. It's got a little bit of brown in it. So it really looks lovely for dames our age. Okay? So that's, that's a, a little lipstick uh, tip there for you. Uh, let me see. Uh, there, we have some more questions here. So, uh, Moni Varda, I used your tips for cutting my own hair and it was great. Oh, good. I'm so glad, Moni. Yes, I've got, I've got uh, some videos on that. I, yeah, I haven't been to a hairdresser for, I don't know how long. And, uh, speaking of hairdressers, I need to cut. I can do everything except when it's this long, I can't get to the back of it. So I have to wait till my sister visits. And given that, we're no, there's no visiting or we're not going to be doing any of that until maybe the summer when we're, you know, hopefully past or on the downside of the curve with the coronavirus, then I'll get it cut. In the meantime, I'll just have to manage it the way it is. I'll just keep the bangs cut. And Barbara, I was trying my new Maybelline 24 hour just now. Thank you for this recommendation and instruction. You're so welcome. You're so welcome. And Mary Yamamato, good to see you, Sharon. I'm having difficulty removing the L'Oreal tube mascara. L'Oreal suggests just using water, wiping off, but sometimes it doesn't take off. Good question, uh, Mary. Um, excuse me, everyone. This is what happens when I get yammering. Sorry about that. I would... Uh, one of the things that you can use is a little bit of Vaseline on a Q-tip. Seriously, it works great. Or just, you know, use your finger. But the more hygienic we can be these days, the better. Uh, for your lips and for your eyes. Seriously. Uh, if if what, what I find is maybe the trouble with the tube mascara, it's not so much the mascara, but if you're wearing the gel liner in the waterline underneath it, if those things mix, that may be more of the problem. But just use just use some Vaseline and, and a... Um, a Q-tip, and I think that will help you. Let me know how that works for you, okay? 
and Cheryl Richards, or Reichardt, sorry. When I put the liner on moist membrane on the top lid, it blots on the lower lid and makes a mess. Okay, uh, thanks for the question. This happens a lot because what happens is, uh, excuse me again, ladies, sorry. What happens is we put too much of the gel liner on the brush in the first place, okay? You want maybe just a pinhead's worth. Just a pinhead's worth is all you want, okay? And keep your eyes open. If, if you find that your eyes tend to um, water, wrap a Kleenex like so around your finger, go in and touch the bottom of your eye like that, Close if you have to, and that will remove all the moisture without disturbing your makeup. Okay? Uh, so, uh, yeah, and remember, just a little bit, a little bit at a time, will, uh, it, and it should be just fine. Hope that helps. Lynn Tornell, dames our age, love. Yeah, listen, why not, right? At this age, <laughs> listen, as far as I'm concerned, I've earned my matriarchy. I've earned it, I've lived it, I've been through to hell and back several times, as many of us have. I have I've earned the right uh, to be respected and uh, to to call myself as my, as I want. My the only thing I, you know when they call me cisgender or something like that, you know that is the current thing in the world. Uh, no, my pronoun is either your majesty or or dame, you know? If you want to go down that road, you can call me your majesty. Um, and uh, Lou, great minds at Lynn Tornell. Oh, okay. Um, I need to find your hair cutting video. If you go into the playlist, and I'll show you just a little bit later when, when we close this down, I'll show you how to go into the playlists, and there's a search bar there. You just have to type in, you know, cutting hair, cutting bangs, or whatever, and, and you'll find it okay. The search, the search bar is really, really handy. Okay, so it seems like we've uh, we've finished with our current questions. I uh, just want to go back up here and, and make sure that I haven't missed anybody for any questions. And let me see if I have another tip on the top of my noggin. Uh, or if, is, is there anything else that you'd like? Um, let me think. It seems I, I sometimes I forget how many you know have I said this before <laughs> if I have they are they tired of hearing it uh, I'm not sure I know that lately there's been um, I've been doing some make betters on the Facebook page and um, I'm noticing that although today is not a good example for me that lifting the circumference of the crown is is something that. It seems to be, as far as I'm concerned, it's right up there with having an even skin tone and well-shaped brows and, and lips. I'm, I'm serious. Lifting the circumference. What's the circumference? The circumference is, is right around, you know, let me go this way, you know, right around here. That's just below the crown, right? So it's the circumference of the crown. This is what you want to lift out, okay? And you want to lift up, the, you want the crown to have a nice, rounded edge at the back that does more that does more than just about anything it, 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 it seriously I, I um it does more than anything I'll just leave it at that um I need to see you back I love your hair and it's uh, oh thank you it's it's very very easy Frenchie um it's uh, you know what I do I just put one roller a fairly large one in the front going down or going back one large one at the crown and then I take the rest of my hair and wrap it in a in a in a roller that is uh, that's what um, it's about it's this it's there's a papa bear a mama bear and a baby bear set of rollers that I use okay so the papa bear goes here the mama bear goes here and the baby roller goes at the back and that's all I do just three and that's this is this is what I get uh, you know I'm, I, it, it's pretty easy now my hair is quite wavy when I when I wash it 
or when I shampoo it, it's quite wavy and it will, um, it will, uh, it, it will go wavy and stuff if I don't, you know, so when I decide to wear my hair curly, what I do is I put it up in about eight sponge rollers or pin curls and I get a great wave. And in order to go with what, if your hair is wavy ladies and you want to go that way, then you 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 have your rollers or your pin curls going down when you roll back or forward well, like when you roll vertically you're going to get more of a spiral curl when you roll uh straight across you're going to get more of a wave and if i if i wanted to make this a little bit more hollywood wavy you know like with a, a deeper uh you know thing and you know, a, a little bit of wave, all I would do is use a smaller roller and and a, a few more of them and that would give me that look. But uh, it's easy the way it is because I can put it up, I can put it to the side, uh, there's a number of things I could do or I can just leave it down. So that's all explained in the hairstyling playlist um, that you will, that, that it, you can find on the search. Now let me see, uh, Okay, here we have Barbara. Important question: uh, Do you just acknowledge you just acknowledged my earlier comment about Maybelline uh, 24 uh, Power looking at the four colors that I've bought and two continuous cocos are different colors? Sorry, uh, uh, I'm not sure I understand. Um, looking at the four colors that I bought and two continuous cocos are different colors. I'm, I'm sorry, I, I'm, I'm really not, if you can explain that a little better, that would be helpful and we'll figure it out. And uh, RK asks for, what age did you go all gray? Well, 63, I decided that I was going to let my, no, was it 63? Uh, no, no, it was, let me see, 12, about 2000, so about 10 years ago, nine years ago, 10 years ago, I decided, and um, I've got pictures up, I use for the banner on um, the Facebook page uh, that shows my various stages, and if you take a look at transition video that I have because I logged my transition I took pictures all the way through and then I made a video of it that's uh, on on this uh, channel uh, that shows and shows how I changed my makeup and and the different styles I used and how I added scrunchies and I added gray extensions so that it would blend in between so I so I because I, I never cut my hair or, or anything like that so I hope that answers your question um, Mary, uh, if you have your hair back in a ponytail, can you still lift the circumference? Absolutely. All depends on how you do it. But you make use of, do I have one here? I think I might. You make use of your rat tail comb. Okay, this this little thing here, ladies, oh, I, I couldn't live without it. I'm serious. And and I'll tell you, I, I these are the two only two things I use. This and this. This is, this is great for finishing over top like when you've back combed your hair and you're combing the top this is wonderful for 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 for, for finishing the top layer this is fantastic for for lifting or doing some really heavy duty um back combing that you want what you do is you back comb your hair first and and then you know and and pull it together smooth it down pull it up and then and then go in with your with your thing and and hold the ponytail but lift it with the with the rat tail does that does that help answer your question i hope so um with the colors 145 not just a little but a lot okay i again i'm still not sure um Uh, with the colors, 145. Not just. I'm sorry. I, I I'm still not. I'm still not sure uh, what your question is. Okay, we'll we'll get this. Just just let's let's try something else. Um, Lou, um, early 50s for me, and 
R.K. Seegers, I'm 59. Ah, sorry, I'm interrupting in a private conversation there. And Waterland, uh, I left, my left eyelashes are weirdly bent in the last few years. I try to wet them to straighten them, but uh, when I put on mascara, they look like bent spider legs, whereas my right eye is great. You know why? Because that's probably the side you sleep on. And, and what happens is your pillow or whatever is pushing, pushing against your eyelashes. Sometimes that can happen to us with our, uh, with our, uh oh, let go, don't do that, Sharon. Oh. Uh, sometimes that happens to us with our eyebrows too. Do you ever notice that on that same side, perhaps, your eyebrows, what's left of them, are sticking up or they're going forward? You have to. This is where a little Vaseline and a, um, a what? A mascara wand, a disposable mascara wand. You can, you know, calm that sucker down. With the eyelashes, try a little. Try a little Vaseline. You're going to have to experiment and just rub and then just, you know, just or and and put some on and then use a mascara wand and tr try to comb them back. But so if you can avoid it in the first place, Waterland, then I think uh, then you'll have your problem solved. And Sheila McCann, uh, uh, think you missed my earlier question. How do you keep tight lining from running? I have tried a number of different products, but nothing stays. The only products that I recommend, Sheila, are the MAC Fluid Line or Bobby Brown. Or if you want to use a pencil, let me find mine. I recommend in Canada the... Annabelle smooth liner not the coal but the smooth liner because it's a gel pencil and in the states I believe all may is uh, is the one that sells a um, oh sorry all may is the one that sells the um, what do you call it the gel pencil now I have to tell you I, I'm sorry ladies I have to do this um, Ah, the gel pencil I find is more convenient and it, it wears pretty well. And what I do once I put it on is I add a little bit of eyeshadow over top if I need, but if I'm going to, if I need like a 12 day where I need to look my best, I'll go to the, to, to the gel in the pot by Mac or Bobby Brown. Do not use other products they don't work very well okay I have to tell you anything any product that I recommend on this channel I have tested and tested and tested and I've used it on clients uh, in the past and and it's 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 worked well so that's all I'd recommend you know I'm all for you know streamlining your product purchases there's no need to go into debt or to have so much you can hardly find anything simple streamlined easy only those products very little bit on the brush, a tiny, tiny, tiny bit on the brush. And if you look back on this video, you'll see that I talked about how to, if your eyes are watery, how it will, um, how, how you can stop that from happening. Any, Okay, so I hope that answers your question. Okay, Sheila. And Linda, my eyes and nose water constantly when I'm applying my makeup. Welcome to the club. You're not alone. I have the same thing. Uh, lots of people have it. And what I do, again, I, I uh, have a tissue in my hand. And I, I don't rub my eyes. Let me take my glasses off. I will go in to the corner and do that. Or on the bottom lash line, close, open, and do that. It gets rid of it. But, you know, after, after you've applied it, about 10 minutes after it's been applied and everything, um, you know, it's fine. I, I know other, other people have said this. I have a couple of friends who stopped wearing makeup because they said that their eyes watered too much. Well, that's, that's what happens to us when we get older. Our eyes just water. And when we get older still, they tend to water even more. So the trick is finding something that's good and absorb it. Now, what I also do is, you know the, you know the paper towels that, you know, are, are uh, they come in strips. I'll show you. 
they, they, they come like this, you know, like you can take them off. I separate these because they're, they're dual layered. And then I just fold it and I keep a stash. Why do I use these? Because there's no fibers in them. One of the things that will, that will make your eyes uh, water more so too is I find that Kleenex, some, some of the tissues have a fiber in them. And when you put that near your eye, sometimes that fiber gets into the eye too. So it just exacerbates the problem. So that's why I use the paper towel tissues. They just don't have the fibers and they're, they're, when you separate the layers they're softer they're easier to manage and uh, and it and it usually works very well um, just take your time with it that's that's all you can do or that you know that's that's what I do is I take my time if it's if it's really watery which it never is I just do that and carry on McDuff and um, you know it seems to work out okay hope that answers your question okay um, and let me see. There doesn't seem to be any other uh, questions. Let me see if I've missed anybody up top here. I can't. I don't see that I have. Okay, so. Well, uh, barring that, then I'm going to show you how to, um, how to search the channel. Um, this is where this is what the page generally looks like. Do you see where I've got two red circles there? One says playlists, and one is a search bar. So you can you can go either way. You can either go into the playlist or the search bar. You type in what you want, and you'll it'll come up. If you go into the playlists, then a page will come up that looks like this, and all the playlists are listed. So if you're looking for hair or 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 um, you know the power, vocal power, modern etiquette, um, uh, beauty tips, uh, digital makeovers, any number of things that are there for you. Just click on that playlist and those things will come up for you. So let's see, do we have, whoop, do we have any other questions before I log off here? I don't think we do. Um, I want you to remember that it, it, it's always better to arrive at your troubles in a, in a limousine. I, I, I really like that because it's what it says is look your best, feel your best, and and then when step up to the plate to deal with your problems. And if you look and feel your best, it will make a big difference. So always put your best foot, face, and frock forward. It 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 makes a huge difference. Um, and then, then I wanted to say, I want you to remember this, ladies, whatever unfolds in our world right now, it's really, really challenging right now for all of us. Okay. So whatever unfolds, remember, it's your choice, what to focus on, how to respond, not to react and how to feel. And I guarantee you, if you put your best self out there, not only how you look on the outside, but how you're training yourself on the inside to attend to your life, its issues, and the problem of, problems of the world that affect you, it will make a huge, huge difference. Okay, so it doesn't look like we have any other questions. So I just want to say thank you uh, for spending uh uh, some time. It was it was great to be back. And if you can leave in the comments below um, anything that you'd like to see me do, I'm going to continue on, I think, with the boss of me. Uh, and I'm going to try, try to make it, you know, it's even more streamlined if I can. So, so, so it makes it easier for us. So that's what my plans are. Anyway, all being well, and the creek don't rise, as they say, then I will see you uh, next time. And uh, in the meantime, be your best, feel your best, do your best, and enjoy uh, your the, the power of being who you are. Mwah!